Louisiana versus all y'all. Jared Rosa here with a, a little bit of a, a congratulations in order episode, I think, uh, with, with Russell Babineau finishing up his freshman year to Cadiana and just picked up an LSU offer this week to kind of start things out on the football side of things with his recruitment. Uh, so some big things early on for, for Russell. And, man, I appreciate you taking some time uh, to, to chat about some of it on what has, I'm sure, been a really exciting week over there. Anytime, anytime. Take me through it. I mean, did you did you anticipate that things like this would be happening for you this early on in your high school career? Well, it's always like all a part of the process. So like something that big to be happening this fast and this early is like mind blowing. Like it's amazing to like be a part of that group and like become like pursue all your dreams like this early. So it's really like lost for words right here. Coach Cortez Hankton, a uh, Louisiana native, but in his first year back at LSU with, with part of this new staff for the Tigers, uh, called over to school and, and, and talked to coach. Take me through just kind of uh, how it actually played out and, and what um, you know, the conversation was like to let you know that there was a, a scholarship off on the table for you at LSU. Yes, sir, so Coach Cortez called and he really – he really liked my film. Like all kind of coaches were telling him about this 2025 kid. And he was like, cause he told me he was like looking at 2023. So he said, I have to watch this kid. Like look at this 2025. So he said he finally got to reach out to my film and like really get to really get to watch it. So he said he really liked my film. And that's like one of the biggest parts of like the game. And you really have to get that out there. So he called and let me know like everything and asked about my parents and information. So he told me he wanted to extend the offer, and that's really how it happened. How how emotional and, and exciting of a day was that for you and your family? Well, that right when that happened, I was still at the district uh, track meet. So I'm sitting there, I'm like thinking about it. And like when it really hit me, it really hits you. So it's like mind blowing and amazing. I think your speed is one of the first things that kind of pops out when you watch your, your freshman highlights there. I mean, you're you're playing in a, a 5A district that is traditionally, you know, a, a tough district. And you're on some of these breakaway plays. It, it looks like some defensive backs are just kind of giving up because they realize it, it's not it's not happening. And you're, you're about to house whatever it was, whether it be a, a run or, or slipping you slipping you off for an open pass. Um, were you surprised early on? this season that you were able to have that type of an impact for an Acadiana that is a traditional power, uh, you know, a reigning 5A champion and, and all these things, and, and to be able to make some plays like that to help your team right off the bat to start your high school career? Yes, sir. So at the beginning of the season, like the first two weeks of uh, Friday nights, the game really had to like come to me and I really started to get comfortable like as the season went. So like week three, I think we played south side and that was like one of my breakaway games and i really got to see like what was happening and like how i was improving like over the week so as the weeks went on i started to have like really really good games actually and like as you like as the games go on and the season goes only you really get to see like what's happening and like the improvements you're making and all the things you can do to help your team and um like during the season i'm just thinking it's like crazy because it is a one of the best districts in the in high school so it's like something that's really big you end up being a I mean a second team all district guy in that district as a freshman which I, I yeah. think says quite a bit when you started to kind of find your way find your rhythm adjust and adjust yeah. to the game and realize what you needed to do to to be effective what were some of the biggest differences for you by the time you you know got later into the season what, what were some areas that you were really proud of the development or improvements that you showed? So I really feel like reacting to the game really quick and like everything coming to me was really like a big part of it because it's like, what can this guy do better? And like, what am I doing better? And um, as we went on, it's like crazy to see because all the improvements I was making, it's like, it's all helping me out. So as we went on, like coaches were helping and like, I don't know, it's crazy because for me to like be playing right there and um I don't know uh like even like deep balls like passing the ball like we never really threw the ball at Acadiana so opening a playbook and extending that was really crazy and we really got to get more plays out of like the packages we were coming out of and everything 
what have been some of maybe the the best piece of advice or some things that have stuck with you a little bit, whether from from your coaches over there to Katie Anna or you have some great older teammates, uh, a lot of whom are going on to play college ball um, at the end of this year, you know, whether LT or, or Walter Bob, or if you knew Cam George, who was a year ahead, you've got Jeremiah and the list kind of goes on down through some of the talent that's coming through with Katie Anna right now. Uh, what are some things that you've heard, whether it be from the coaches or those older guys about, um, you know, how to, how to handle and keep developing to be a high school player at a, at a really high level and also how to handle some of this college stuff that's now starting so early. Seriously. So people always tell me like the work that you put on and off the field, everybody's going to be watching at all times. So no matter what you do, if it's practicing or like even getting extra work, like staying after practice, like showing up first, like even, even in the weight room, like they told me to stay in the weight room, stay consistent with everything you do. So like, if it's coming out to practice, catching like 20 balls right here, 20 balls right there, it's like all going to help out at the end and you're going to see improvements to your game like week after week, week. So they just told me to stay consistent and like just keep going, hang around the right people and you'll be fine. Like, and just keep going. You mentioned having been at a, a track meet, um, you know, when the offer was kind of still hitting you. Um, and I know you're a baseball guy too. What are the events that you participate in and track? And are there any other sports? Are you a three sport guy? Are you four or five? Are you doing a little bit of everything pretty much over there? So um, in track, I'm like, right now I'm running a 200 meter, 100 meter, four by one. And, that, and for baseball, I'm playing outfield. So it's like in basketball, like I used to play basketball, but I stopped playing eighth grade year. So Coming on the high school, I just stuck with baseball, football, and track, and, and it's really helped me. You you grew up in Louisiana, obviously. I mean, your last name is Babineau. Uh, you, you don't get a whole lot more Louisiana. Did you grow up a big Cajuns fan or LSU fan, or or did you pay much attention to college level stuff? Or you know, as a kid, were you watching a lot of that? Yes, sir. So actually, we grew up out here in Lafayette, and. When I was around like six or seven, we moved back to Baton Rouge. So we stayed out there. LSU was a big factor. So being like out there and um, being out there in Baton Rouge was like really, we stayed out there for about four years, maybe came back to Lafayette, then went back to Baton Rouge. So it was a, it was a lot back then. So then after that, we came back to Lafayette. So it was a lot. So, yeah, you, I mean, you've, probably paid good attention to, to both those college programs. Um, yes, what does it mean to have the first offer be such a big one in terms of an SEC level, just won a national championship two years ago, and to be one of those home state schools right here to, to kind of recognize your talent early on? Being that it's one of like the top schools, it's still like unbelievable. Like being that um, it's still in my freshman year, like, I still have three more years to improve and um, being that it's like still close to home. It's, it's amazing. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's just crazy. How quickly did you hear from LT? Um, the first day, first day. <laughs> what, what did he say? Cause he was a guy that I, I told people even before LT got the LSU offer, just from some conversations with him, I yeah. felt like if that offer ever came, that that was kind of a, a dream opportunity for him. Um, and so yeah. I know it's something he's extremely passionate about. What was his his initial message to you when he heard that that you now had an LSU offer as well? So LT's always told me like to keep working. And he's been a guy that was like helping me through the process. So he was like, when he uh, heard about it, he was like, I told you I'll call it because he told me that he wanted coach. He's like to um, like he was going to bring me out there with him. So like just working with him, he's always like helped me and everything. So he was really happy about it. So he was, we got on the phone right after and we just started talking. Do you have big plans this, this off season in terms of hitting the camp and visit stuff yet? Or you, you, you do, you're getting into that pretty heavily this summer. Uh, so yes. are you going to get a chance to get over to LSU in June? Do you have other schools that you're hoping to get out to this off season? Definitely. I really want to get to LSU during the summer. I want to get bigger, faster, stronger, show up to the camp and really like show my game off. So 
I want to get out there and um, I just really want to find other camps I can like improve at and like go against other guys who are like b bigger and like just develop so I can get better from like just going and just get better this summer. Uh, no other specific stops that you know yet, though, that, that you want to get to the school or that school. You're still kind of figuring out what that schedule might look like. Yes, sir. Still figuring it out. Do you do you hope to play multiple sports at the next level? You, you've pared it down for the high school level to track football, baseball. Would you like to be a guy that that participates in not only football, but potentially one or both of the others at the next level? Yes, sir. So playing both sports at the next level will be like still crazy because it's like you focus on this sport then go to that sport so it's all like combined so i feel like through the next three years i really want to stick with all the all three sports and i think my senior year i'm going to like decide and see where i want to go with it so i'll have to make that decision so that would be really good that's the beauty of getting this college stuff started so early is you've got all the time in the world still to figure some of the, the details out for sure <laughs> yep well, uh, Russell, again, I appreciate you taking some time. Is, is there anything else that you want for, for any LSU fans or, or anyone really that, that happens to watch this or, or read any of the posts that I make out of this that you would hope they know about, about who you are, just kind of what you would tell them about you as a, as a young athlete or just a, a young man even away from the sports? Yeah, so the, I just want to say thank you to, like, all coaches, family, friends, because, like, the process that you have to take and, like, the time you take from out of this, like, everybody's going to be going through it with you, so – you just want to like have a thank you to them because like not only you're doing it by yourself, but like all your family and friends, like the people who are helping you get there will like always be there with you. So you really get to see who's really sticking with you throughout the whole journey. There you go, man. Again, that's Russell Babineau, still a freshman at Acadiana. It's, you know, it's baseball season and track season right now, finishing up, uh, has some exciting new football news already with, with LSU extending a scholarship offer this week. And I'm sure we'll see him a lot this summer with, uh, the camps and whatnot. And then for the next three years for the Wreck and Rams and, and all these sports and for Louisiana versus all y'all, Jarrett Roser. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you.